everybody. I'm going to show you another version of the lockdown rainbow tree. With this one, you don't need any expensive art materials. Just use what you have in the house and garden. You can even substitute the brushes in most of the painting for bits of cut up kitchen sponge. You don't need to be particularly good at art or skilled, which is why it's good for all kids even grown-up ones. Just get messy and enjoy yourself. But go easy on the water or all the leaves will turn soggy. leaves for this project because the veins are pronounced and you can find them everywhere at the moment. We've actually got a, a hazel tree in our garden. I painted on the underside of the leaves because the veins are so pronounced and that's they're more pronounced on the underside. I don't I've used um, poster paints because they aren't expensive and the colours are bright and most children already seem to have them in the house and you don't need to add much water to the ready mix. The consistency is just right. It's quite thick and it doesn't make and it leaves a good sort of impression on the paper.
try to balance the two sides of the tree if you can. Take a, take a step back and look at it occasionally from a distance. Well, that's the leaves finished. If you use bigger leaves, obviously it's going to be a lot quicker. Now we're going to use the tissues to paint with. Or you can use bits of sponge, which will work as well. Tear them up and crumple them in, into a ball and use them to dab the paint and stipple it onto the paper. I did this because the tree didn't seem quite the right shape. The next bit is optional, but then I suppose all of it's optional. I always think a bit of splattering adds a bit of life to a painting. Get an old toothbrush and adding a small amount of water, dip it in the paint, hold the paper at an angle and then flick the paint onto it. painting here if you want but if you like you can add a few more details such as prints from leaves and grasses and the tree as far as I'm concerned represents the NHS sheltering us from the storm under its rainbow branches so you could add some rainbow birds and maybe a rabbit or two if there's room I cut up tiny triangles of household sponge to dip in the paint and press onto the branches 
to make the birds. Then when you've finished, you can put the painting in your window. It's um, something that a lot of people around where I live have done to brighten the place up, I suppose, for people when they go on their walks and for children to find. Thank you for watching, have fun and please stay safe.